Welcome back to Read Only Memories. We've got the briefcase full of cash for Vincent, but we still need the passports and the unmarked car. So, let's have a chat with Starfucker. Fucked any stars lately? Ah, oh, crap. Is that reporter and her bot again? Jeez it, Ollie. Hold on a moment. We're just here to ask the two of you for a favor. You don't need to run again. I knew you didn't have the guts to mess with me. <laughs> it just stuck out his tongue. <laughs> guts? And why would we want to help you? We did trash that apartment, Jed. Yeah? So? We also didn't report you to the police for it. Yeah? So? And they still could. Oh. Alright, well, spill it then. I ain't got all day. Can't you see me and Oliver are busy men? Yeah, sorry, I wouldn't want to get in between you and any star fucking. We need some assistance with some illicit activity that, statistically, individuals in your age bracket would likely have experience with. <laughs> I just love the way that was stated. Oh, so this is one of those things where you need a streetwise kid to show you the ropes. I love VRs like that. So what's the thread? B&E? War driving? Copyright infringement? Search bombing? Um... I know what two of those four things are. Breaking and entering and copyright infringement, but war driving? Search bombing? Is search bombing actually illegal? It's against the terms of service, so probably. At least in California. We need to buy some fake IDs, today, if possible. Oh, that's nothing. If you can pay. Ollie can whip up a couple that'll work good enough to get you past a bouncer or a cop doing sniff tests. He's a wizard with a printer and a lifted wallet. It's more complicated than that. We need falsified passport IDs that can get someone safely past the border. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Ollie can do that. Can you? Not with that equipment a lot more expensive, and illegal, than what I already have. What about the guy who got at least that unrestricted mesh card when she was on probation? That's not really the same thing, Jed. But... I can give him a call. Give me a few minutes. This guy is pretty sketchy. Very cloak and dagger. I'll have to play middleman. Excellent. I'll forward you the relevant documents and photos. Aw, oh, man. Now I'm starting to feel left out. All he gets to show off all his cool connections. You sure you don't need someone's head kicked in a little? That's my area of expertise in our little duo. Well, that and petty larceny. We might have something that will suit your skill set. Let's just get the passports first. Awesome. You ain't so bad for a tin can. Honestly? I'm composed almost entirely out of plasteel and silica, Chad. Has no one come up with better insoles for robots since the turn of the century? ROMs have been out for almost a decade. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Give me a sec, I'm pretty good at name calling too. I'm sorry I brought it up. Just hold on a second. Underclocked? Bitbrain. Don't hurt yourself, Chad. I'll get back to you, Bubblehead. You know, you're a lot more chatty than any of the ROMs I've ever owned. What's the deal, Nelavanda? You install some new conversation routines Ollie ain't got the chance to nerd out about yet? 
They're top notch. Very bleeding edge. I don't run traditional ROM VI personality software. I am, in fact, the first fully sapient machine intelligence. Well, at least that my creator knew about. Which means what, exactly? In English? It means he's a person, Chad, not a toy. Now keep it down, I'm still on the phone. Oops, uh, and yes, what he said. Okay, I talked to the guy. He said he'll do it, but he only works in trade. A couple of passports are gonna run us... One signed poster for Magical Commander Yukino. Yukino at the gates to the deep? Oh. Really? Okay. <laughs> I was expecting it would be something worse, something more horrible. In fact, I believe there's such a thing in the cafe. Ramona, I believe, has something like that. <laughs> of course. It's always that Japanese crap. It's not my fault they make the best VR dramas. Maybe... maybe you can do better? Probably. Anyway, where can we get this poster? I'm not sure. Probably nearby. I've done switches with this guy before, and he never asks for something that'll take too long to get. We'll help you look for it. Ooh, they're in my party. So what they meant by, we'll help you look for it, is... I'm still gonna have to find it myself. <laughs> Cause, well, I mean, I know where it is, but if I didn't know where it is, I'd still have to find it myself. Well, I'm guessing, in exchange for it, Ramona's probably going to want us to fix the weather ROM. Although, that would just be fixing something that we basically messed up in the first place, so that's not so much doing her a favor as just righting our wrong. So, maybe she'll want us to do something more. Let's go find out. Oh. There it is. I knew I saw a poster for Magical Commander Yukino somewhere around here. I should have remembered Ramona would have one. You know this lady? Sure. We talk sometimes when I'm getting out, getting our drinks. You're usually too busy provoking people to notice. And also too busy fucking stars. Yeah. Whatever. There's a bit of a line. We'll have to wait a few minutes before we can talk to her. We could just snatch the thing and run. I'm a fan of the smash and grab. Simple and effective. We can't do that. She knows who we are. Us too. This is the most boring felony I've ever been an accessory to. Look, we'll just stand in line. Like a bunch of clumps? Or chumps? What is the big picture anyway, Blue Bomber? I'm not sure it's wise to spread it around, Chad. For either of us. The less you know, the less reason anyone has to bother you. Screw that static. I'm not heading to Juvie, not knowing what for. Spill the beans or I'll spill them for you. Your persistence is already legendary, Chad. Fine. You really must know, we're going to trade the passports for some information regarding the disappearance of my creator, the culprit behind which being Parallax. His apartment was the one you trashed. Oh shit. That Hayden dude is your dad? And they snatched him? That's so messed up. Well, dad, after a fashion, he raised me. Man, I hope you find the dudes that took him. I hope he's okay. <sighs> if only. It... Um... It seems very unlikely. Oh man, I... I don't know what to say, you know? I mean, I still have my dad, but he's... 
Chad. He's never really been around. Too busy trying to save the world from itself. Even now, he's over there standing in front of the damn clinic instead of being here. That would be my dream. Wait. That's your dad? The... The, uh, the leader of this branch of the human revolution is his dad. And uh, I thought I could find a way to make that happen, and he'd... Whatever. I might as well nuke that drive. It ain't gonna sink. Aw, Starfucker. I'm starting to kind of like you, Starfucker. Even if your name is really, really dumb. I think I understand what you mean, Chad. Hell yeah! Dude's gotta stick together, you know? Uh, what? N no, I don't know. What do you- huh? What are you talking about? Exactly. Dudes? <laughs> don't matter if you're a robot or what. We all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab destiny by the horns and make your own mark. Yeah, gotta fuck some stars. Make a name for yourself? Nah, I gotta hand it to you, though. You're smarter than you look, Chad. People keep saying that, and I keep wanting to punch him for it. It's probably the hair, Chad. You think? Well, I ain't willing to give up my due just so people think I'm a brain. Got an image to protect. I think it would be better in yellow. Yeah? Maybe we can get a box of dye on the way home. And we're up. The line's finally cleared up. Let's go talk to Ramona. Hey, Ollie. Salutations, Ramona. What can I do for you all? <clears throat> uh oh, this is my friend Chad. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. We were hoping you might be able to give us your assistance, Miss Ramona. We want to make a trade for that magical commander Yukino poster over there. It's necessary for us to get some pretty important information. No way. Not happening. Nah. -uh. Yukino is off limits. <laughs> I like the change in music. Wow, I can actually threaten her with stealing it. It's a dick move. This is literally a matter of life and death, Ramona. I don't care. That poster was signed by Takiko herself. It's one of a kind, and I'm not giving it up. I'd rather not drag you in any further into this than necessary, but I promise that we're not overstating it. This is a dire situation, and people have already died. Still, I don't see how my poster is going to help. Man, you nerds sure do love your cheap crap from the net. Cheap crap? I'll have you know that poster is worth hundreds of credits. Takiko passed away years ago, so there aren't any more of them getting signed. It's special. Sure it is. <laughs> he doesn't get it. He's not in the fandom. Thankfully. We can get you another. It'll only take a few days. It's not just a poster. It was a gift from someone. Someone I care about, okay? Besides, you can't get another one. Perhaps there's something else that would make a suitable trade? 
You aren't hearing me, are you? It's not just what it's worth. It has sentimental value. You can't replace that. Look, you just have to order something off of the mesh, because you can't have this one. We don't have time. This lead will dry up by then. I don't care. God, what the hell am I supposed to do? I guess just beg her if I don't really have much of a choice. Please, Ramona. Okay, enough. How about this for a trade? I have an original keyframe cell from Pretty Champion Sailor Sirius, signed by Takiko, at home. Whoa. You have a signed Sailor Sirius cell? That's really hard to get. They stopped doing keyframes by hand right around that time. You can't be serious, Ollie. You have the thing framed on your wall, and you wouldn't shut up about it for a week after you got it. This is important, Chad. You can't say you wouldn't do the same thing if someone had your dad. Think about Turing. And I can't ask Ramona to give up something important to her if I'm not willing to do the same. Aw. I like Oliver. Even more now than before. M maybe. Alright. Fine. I don't know what this is all about, but offering that keyframe is way, way too much for the poster. I can't accept it. But we need... I didn't say you couldn't have the poster. Do you have something more equal to trade, Ollie? A couple of things, maybe. We'll talk about it then. Maybe you can find me another one, too. Go ahead and take the poster. Ah, there we go. Whew. Thank you, Ramona. Yes, I, I can't tell you how much it means to us. Sure, sure. And, uh... You think I could see that cell sometime, Ollie? Of course. I'll bring it over when we talk about the trade. So cool. Alright, I guess we're good. I don't like the way she was flirting with you, Ollie. W what are you talking about? I know flirting when I see it, and I'm saying I don't like it. Not one bit. We just talk about old anime sometimes, Chad. Neither of us are interested in the other. Pfft. Sure. Well, we have the poster now. What's next? Go ahead and call this number, Turing. He'll want to set up the drop with you, uh, now that I've introduced you to him. Sure, change the subject. Uh, I'll call him right now, then. It's ringing. You the ones looking for some papers? We are, and we have the requested payment here. Good. We're gonna do this real professional-like. You know the Stardust? I do. Head there, leave the poster behind the Mega Fobiter arcade cabinet, and get out. Come back ten minutes later, and your stuff will be behind the cabinet. I understand. Good. I'll be waiting. Well, that was very mysterious. Yeah, that's how this guy is. I don't even know his name. I've been getting things from him for a few years now. Who cares? Let him play Spy Master if he wants. Let's hurry up to the Stardust and get this over with. I've wasted enough of my day with this crap. Is that poor weather machine ever going to get fixed? Go inside to make the drop. We'll wait out here. Yeah, 
Don't want to risk her IDs getting snatched if we're caught sneaking in. I suppose I should feign surprise. Hey, it's a pretty cool set, even if it is like a million years old. They don't really care about the IDs unless you try to hit the bar. Found that one out the hard way. It would have been fine if you wouldn't have taken a swing at the bouncer. I like the hard way. We'll be right back, gentlemen. I try not to set fire to the building or something while we're gone. Oh, hey, it's Jess. I'm, I should strike up a conversation with Jess. I'm sure Jess would be pleased to see me. Well, that should do it, Nella Banda. This is an awful lot of a fuss over a awful lot of a fuss over a poster. I just don't understand the appeal of merchandise like this. I keep my important possessions on my data drive. Eh, it's a nice looking poster. I had not considered aesthetics. Though the art is competent, I'm not sure it is to my taste. But there's no accounting for such things. I hope that whoever gets it enjoys it. But that's enough navel gazing. For now, anyway. Let's head back outside so our benefactor can make the trade. But first, I feel like getting my face lacerated by Jess's words. I was about to touch her, that would have been very bad. Talk to people, do not use them. Talk to them. Oh, it's you again. I'm caught up in something at the moment. Chances are we'll cross paths again. Oh, thank god. Hey! How you doing? Used to be the bouncer. No VIP access today. And you, you were at the cafe. Hmm. I much prefer the back area. Fair enough. How you doing, Majid? Hey, friends. What can we get for you? Take some... Tea sounds nice, actually. Let's see. Okay, I know from experience Tokyo tea is not actually tea. Alright, let's see how long it's going to take me to find something that's not alcoholic. Green tea! Oh my god. <laughs> Turing's angry that Gus is there to tell him what's to, what to put in the drink. Drink it. Refreshing. Ah. Y'all do the deal? We left the poster behind the cabinet. Now we just need to wait for the switch. I've never had to wait more than five minutes or so before. It shouldn't take long. I wonder how he knows the drop happened and gets it so fast. Hmm. Perhaps... Perhaps, perhaps, there's someone who works in the bar. So they saw me do the drop. Could be the VIP bouncer, or... Could be the green hybrid. I doubt it's Jess. I also doubt it's the barkeep. But the green hybrid wouldn't surprise me. Don't matter, Ollie. This guy's a solid feed, even if he likes to mess around. What do you need these passports for, anyway? You said to trade for information, but what's the full story? Without going into too much detail, our informant needs to get away from Neo SF. The passports are one part of that. We also need to obtain an untraceable car. I don't suppose the two of you could help with that? No way, dude. Grand Theft Auto is a felony with a capital F. Besides, 
Getting an untraceable car is a damn bit harder than a piece of plastic that'll fool a hand scanner. Chad's right. Of course I'm right. Anyways. The city's traffic management system keeps track of all vehicles passively, even if you manage to circumvent their firmware to keep them from actively reporting to the network. You have to spoof the car as something permitted to be invisible for the CTOS to ignore it. I don't want to mess with boosting cars anyway. The junks run that racket in EOSF, and they don't play nice. Especially with the HR. Well, thanks either way. You've done us a huge favor. Call it even for the apartment. Yeah, Blue. No hard feelings. You give us a call if you need anything else. Long as it'll help find your pops. Yeah. Turing just has to bite his tongue constantly. Metaphorically speaking, because he doesn't actually have a tongue. We should get going, though. We were supposed to be home hours ago. My dad won't notice. But Ollie's will flip. You take care. Don't get de-rezzed. Goodbye. Let's finish the trade inside. Yeah, it's gotta be somebody who works in the bar, right? It has to be. Because I didn't see anybody go in or leave, right? Yeah, there we go. Here the passports are, just as advertised. Now we need to find a car. Yeah, so it sounds like we need to talk to... Um, what does Starfucker call them? The Junks? I'm assuming that's like a, a gang or something that might be able to get us an untraceable car. Perhaps Jess may know someone who can lend a hand? That sounds like a good idea. Uh, sure, but you can do the talking. I really don't want to talk to her. <laughs> a good idea. Hold on. I really suspect it's you. It could be the bouncer, but I feel like you might be the person who did the trade. They could stand to serve some food, though. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. It's you again. Did you find your guy? Or, wait, let me guess. There's something else you need from me. Well, you haven't been terrible to deal with so far, so... I'm willing to hear you out. Barely. We need access to an untraceable car. An informant of ours needs to get out of the city without attracting the attention of Parallax, and is offering valuable information in exchange. Heavy stuff. Well, you're gonna have to look elsewhere on this one. I'm not sure why you think just because I defend a few folks in the rougher parts of the city that I would have that kind of connection. Maybe you heard somewhere that the hybrids in EOSF run the chop shops or something, and you believed it. No, I didn't fucking be I fucking hate you, Jess! God! You just assume the worst! Mm. I'm gonna hate read your lines. Even if hypothetically they did, what profession exactly should hyper- Uh-huh. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh-huh. I hate you. I fucking hate Jess so much. I'm sorry, I really don't like Jess. Ah. <sighs> Won't go down that path. That's fine. It's fine. I didn't say you're like a master thief that like murders everybody on the planet and you're a terrible person. I just asked. I just asked a question. I just. <clears throat> Is there any possible way you could give us any kind of lead at all? Someone else to talk to. I know we're reaching, but this is important. You just don't quit, do you? Okay, let me think. This might be a long shot, but you could try asking Majid. There are rumors that he may have been involved in some shady stuff way back in the day. Oh yeah, that's true. He did tell me about that. 
you'll probably be reluctant to talk about it, but there's something for you. Get Maji to send me another drink in exchange, will ya? Later. Huh. That went better than expected. I wonder if my charm is starting to pay off for us. Oh, you performed admirably as well. Onward we go. Thanks. <laughs> Please tell me I never have to talk to Jess again. Majid, I love you. You are a thousand times more pleasant than Jess. I, I almost touched you again, I'm sorry. Hey, do you want my spoiled milk? No outside drinks, and that just barely counts as one. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> hey, friends. What can we get for you? We were hoping you could give us a little information. Uh, I think a little information might be understating it. I'm always glad to help. But first, a drink. What'll it be, Nilavanda? Another green tea, please. Thank you, thank you. So, what did you need help with? We're still investigating Hayden's disappearance, but we've run into a roadblock. Ha! <laughs> roadblock, and we need a car. Irony. Sort of. Kind of. Maybe. An informant of ours needs secure transportation out of the city, but we don't have any contacts who'd be able to get us an untraceable car. You mentioned that you used to engage in certain... Extra-legal activities. Perhaps you could point us towards someone who could help? Uh... He doesn't do that kind of stuff anymore. Right. Sorry, friends. I left that life behind a long time ago. I don't really keep in touch with that crew anymore. Uh, of course. Completely understandable. Sorry to bother you, then. Well, no harm in asking, right? My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head, killer. Gus, I need to go to the back and gather up stuff to restock before the rush later on. Mind manning the bar for me? Take your time. I think I can keep things under control. Thanks. Love you, hun. Well, that leaves us at a dead end, Nelavanda. Any ideas on how we should proceed? Some nose-to-the-ground journalist techniques for finding leads? We could ask Tomcat for help. No. Tomcat has already stuck their neck out for us too often. Yeah, you're right. I feel a little bad about how often we've relied on them as it is. And besides, this is a considerably more... felonious action. Everything Tomcat has done so far was to act against the corporate interests of Parallax. While I cannot make comment on the differences in the legal severity of those actions, morally, we should be dirtying our own hands. Ooh, I think Gus maybe wants to talk now that Majid is gone. Let's stuff Vince in a trunk and make it look like a kidnapping. Let's not do that. Maybe we could find an old, manually driven car? I'm guessing those don't exist anymore. That's not the worst idea. I don't think it would get noticed, as long as the car had the appropriate registrations. But the permits to operate a manual vehicle are prohibitively expensive. Yeah. I guess this far in the future, with everything being... controlled automatically as it is, electronically. A manual vehicle would be... I mean... 
Jesus, I guess in the future, like, if you have cars that aren't driven manually, would you even need insurance anymore? I feel like you wouldn't really need insurance anymore. And an automatic car, or rather a manually driven car, would just be such a relic. Such an incredibly dangerous relic. It'd be so much more dangerous than automatically controlled cars. You'd want to heavily regulate it. A casual collector might still maintain one, but only a wealthy hobbyist would have the appropriate stickers to make the car roadworthy. Hmm. Well, there is Dr. Fairlight, but he's, as far as I know, not exactly a wealthy hobbyist. He is wealthy, but I don't think he's a hobbyist in cars. Or at least he's never mentioned it. We'd have to do a B and E, as Chad put it before. Gus obviously wants to say something. Come on. Can we talk to Gus? Okay, okay, the two of you are killing me here. Look, don't tell Majid about this. But... Here. Ooh. What is this, Gus? It's an automated vehicle maintenance scanner with what I assume are a few less than standard upgrades. If you can circumvent its security codes, you can use it to scan a car's installed firmware and put in a new set of firmware that will spoof its presence on the city's network. Okay, so I need the security codes first, right? And then I can use it. At least I think that's how it works. We don't have time to get into any specifics because you need to get the hell out of here with that before Majid gets back. It's just something that's been laying around, anyway. I guess I got a little jealous of Majid's rough-and-tumble history, and got into some of his old stuff to mess around. I wouldn't steal anything, though. I just wanted to know how it worked. I can't tell you how much we appreciate this, Gus. We might finally be on our way to solving this mystery. Yeah, well, you didn't get it from me, okay? I was just playing around with it, and it'll hurt Majid if he thinks I... I don't know. Just get out of here and get on with your Grand Theft Auto. Of course. Thank you. Well, now I think we're cooking with gas, as the colloquialism goes, Nilavanda. I'm searching the mesh for instructions on how to use this device as we speak. Let's go look for some likely candidates. I should be ready by then. Okay. I'm guessing probably not this one, but let's check. 2061 model is more popular among car experts, though. It has an extra cup holder. Okay, do we want this one? Push the car, that doesn't seem like a good idea. You push the car. Oh, that just did nothing. Okay, where else might I find cars? Are there any here? Oh, there's one. Perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune of credits on a car. That's the same car as the other one, right? Just a different color. Oh, you know what? Can I talk to Brian Mulberry about... About his son? Starfucker? <laughs> talk about his son, Starfucker. Join the human revolution and help stop the rent. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't talk to him. Ooh, some cars in front of K Cub. Yeah, there's a couple. Looks like these are all the same damn cars. Yeah, they're all the same damn cars. Hospitals inside. Uh, I don't believe there's any in front of the Flower Mansion. That's also inside. Golden Gate Park? Hmm. Home? No, that's inside too. Should I just try to use the device on it? I guess we can try.
Rats. <laughs> this car has the wrong firmware installed. Won't be able to install our new, fir new firmware over the top of it. We'll have to check another car. But they all seem the same. I guess maybe they have different firmware versions, even if they look the same, and they're the same model? Ooh, success! This vehicle has the appropriate firmware version. Someone has been neglecting their regularly scheduled updates. <laughs> Give me a moment to get everything installed. There. Hmm. There are some other options here I can fool around with. Ah, interesting. I can put in preset destination plans for a future date. Why don't we go ahead and set a plan for the car to return to this spot in a week? That's more than enough time for Mr. Mensa to get away. Now we aren't really stealing the car. Uh, yeah we are. We're illegally borrowing the car, but we're, we're stealing it. Just not forever. More like borrowing without asking. That's stealing. I feel better already. Me too. I was being sarcastic, Turing. The car will drive itself to Golden Gate Park, and we can show Mr. Mensa where it is when we meet him. There. Everything should be set up now. Mr. Mensa is waiting for us at Golden Gate Park. We have everything he requested, so we should head there directly. Alright, sounds good. Wow. I didn't think that would happen so fast. In, I think, less than an hour, I got a briefcase full of a crap ton of money, an untraceable car, and fake passports. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Alright, well, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go bring everything to Mensa.